Chairman of the Canaveral Port Authority, Mr. Jerry Allender. Well, I want to welcome you, all of you, uh, for the uh, 2015 State of the Port presentation. I am Jerry Allender. I'm the Chairman of the Canaveral Port Authority. Uh, the Canaveral Port Authority Commission is the board that sets the policy and the direction of uh, Port Canaveral. Again, I want to thank all of you for being here. At this time, we have a very special recognition. Uh, the Canaveral Port Authority today uh, honors two people who have, who have been loyal in sailing from Port Canaveral. Whereas the Canaveral Port Authority wishes to acknowledge its appreciation of the Caffrey's loyal patronage and extend best wishes and smooth sailing to them on future cruises. Therefore, be it resolved, the Canaveral Port Authority declares June 11, 2015 as Bernard and Janice Caffrey Day at Port Canaveral, and they are hereby granted free cruise parking at Port Canaveral for life, done and ordered and adopted 20th day of May 20, 2015 at the Canaveral Port Authority, signed by myself as chairman and by Thomas Weinberg as secretary treasurer. Congratulations. <laughs> So we want to welcome you today on behalf of our commissioners and the staff at the Canaveral Port Authority. So you're sitting today right in this building that was one of this year's biggest milestones, Cruise Terminal 1. Our largest cruise terminal, 186,000 square feet. We have the three largest cruise terminals as well as several other cruise facilities. You had it in Jacksonville and Tampa. It's a dynamic part of the Florida economy. And that coupled with the 60 million people plus that come into the Central Florida is a powerful two vacations in one. Come play and stay and then get on your cruise or wear yourself out in the theme parks and then relax. Whatever way you want to do it, we want your business. And as a state with Visit Florida and Visit Orlando, and I know our comrades in South Florida are doing the same, we know that that commitment of importing their dollars into our state is critical. Now part of this change, a big part of this change, is that new cargo bond, the primary driver of our rebirth of containers, a business which is the way product is moving today. And I'm proud to introduce you today to a very experienced, world savvy, container and logistics professional who heads up GTUSA. Mr. Peter Richards, and I'll let Peter introduce you to GTUSA. Thank you. All I can tell you is that Gulf Tainer came to Canaveral because we saw the potential in it. We saw the potential of a fantastic port authority, a fantastic port commission. So forward thinking, and I've dealt with port commissions and port authorities all over the world. Gulf Tainer goes to some of the worst places in the world. We go there to try and help. Gulf Tainer, as I say, we're in 15 countries worldwide. We handle about 7 million containers. We handle them for many, many different shipping companies, many, many different uh, manufacturers, factories, everybody. They all trust us with that ability to do that. And we accept that when you get into a position where you're actually a concessionaire within a port, you have to earn that trust. You have to be there because people know that you're in a very important position. We never take that lightly. So thank you. We appreciate you coming. Uh, your port is working hard for you, and we appreciate the opportunity to do so. 